everybody, my name is Missy Lease and welcome back to another story time. So today it is kind of gray and humid out, which means my hair has a mind of its own today. <laughs> um, so my hair's looking pretty silly, so I thought that I could wear a few hats to dress it up and make it look even more silly. <laughs> So we wear hats for all sorts of occasions, right? We can wear hats to show what our jobs are, like a chef might do. They wear a chef's hat. We can also wear hats to protect us. So we can wear a big straw hat when we're out in the garden. Um, gardening and protecting ourselves from the sun or maybe we're at the beach and we want to protect ourselves from the sun we can wear a big hat like this we can also wear hats to show that we're being festive for holidays like the santa hat do you all have santa hats at home <laughs> and we can also wear hats as costumes so Let's see if you can guess who I am. I'm the man in the big yellow hat from Curious George. <laughs> now, I think we can agree that the man in the big yellow hat is a pretty iconic character, but I think we can also agree that one of the most iconic characters in hats is none other than The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. And that is our first book today. We are going to be reading The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out, too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked. Then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked, and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet, and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we can play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad. Why, said the cat in the hat, why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish, with a game that I call up, up, up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish, this is no fun at all. Put me down, he said the fish, I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat, I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. It's balancing. Ooh. Look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some books on a dish and look. Oh, I missed a, missed a line, pardon me. <laughs> look at me, look at me now, said the cat. Up, or... <laughs> look at me, look at me now, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. 
I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish. I can, and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head and he came down with a bump from there, from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said the fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. And you shook up our house, and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when your mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, so, so. I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out. And then, fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box, it was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you, they want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast, they said, how do you do? They would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be here, should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh so tame, they have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house, they should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump. Down the wall, down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. We saw one kite bump on the top, on the head of her bed. 
Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? This is crazy. Then our fish said, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother. Your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. What do you think they're going to do? So as fast as I could, I went after my net, and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things, and you take them away. Oh, dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh, dear. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and then the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes. But your mother will come and she will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There's no way at all. And then, who is back in the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick, all, I always pick up all my playthings and so. I will show you another good trick that I know. Got a cleaning machine. I'd like one of those. <laughs> then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? <laughs> the end. Oh, what a wild adventure. <laughs> so, since we wear hats on our heads, I think we should sing Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. You ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. Let's sing it one more time. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Good job. <laughs> so sometimes we lean over a little too far and, oops, our hats fall off, right? So whenever our hats fall off, I've got a little song that we can sing to help us pick them up. It's called Pick It Up. You ready? I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. And I put it on my head. <laughs> now... We can get creative with body parts that we can 
put our hats on, right? Ready? Let's next put it on our shoulder. Ready? I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. And I put it on my shoulder. <laughs> now I've got two heads. <laughs> what about putting it on our knees? <laughs> Ready? I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. I dropped my hat. Oops. Pick it up, pick it up. And I put it on my knee. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so, Sometimes when we pick up or when we when we drop our hats, we see that we drop them, but sometimes we don't, and that's when our hats get lost. So we have to go on an adventure to try and find them. And that's exactly what our friend in our next book has to do. Our friend the big brown bear in I Want Oh, pardon me. In I Want My Hat Back by John Clayson. My hat is gone. I want it back. Have you seen my hat? No, I haven't seen your hat. Okay, thank you anyways. Have you seen my hat? No, I have not seen any hats around here. Okay, thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? you asking me? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any hats anywhere. Why would I? I would not steal a hat. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay. Thank you anyway. Hmm. Suspicious, I think. Have you seen my hat? I haven't seen anything all day. I've been trying to climb this rock. Would you like me to lift you on top of it? Yes, please. Have you seen my hat? I saw a hat once. It was blue and round. My hat does not look like that. Thank you anyway. Have you seen my hat? What's a hat? Thank you anyway. Nobody has seen my hat. What if I never see it again? What if nobody ever finds it? My poor hat. I miss it so much. What is the matter? I've lost my hat. and Nobody has seen it. What does your hat look like? Well, it is red and pointy and... I have seen my hat. Looks like Bear's off to confront the rabbit. You! You stole my hat! Ooh, staring contest. I love my hat. But where's Rabbit? Excuse me, have you seen a rabbit wearing a hat? No. Why are you asking me? I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere. I would not eat a rabbit. Don't ask me any more questions. Okay, thanks anyway. The end. <laughs> that is all the time that we have for story time today, but before we go, let's sing our goodbye song. Does everybody remember the sign for time, goodbye, and friend? Here we go. All right, ready? 
It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. All right, everybody, good job today. And I will see you again next week. But until then, take care. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.